Surviving living in a car during an epidemic. Well, due to the coronavirus, things have changed a lot for nomads. And I've went through a lot of change personally where I came from Florida to New Jersey because when the pandemic got serious a couple months ago, I wanted to be close to my mother in case something happened. Now, I don't know if I caught a cold going from 90 degree weather to 40 degree weather because that was the temperature dif difference from Florida to New Jersey. Or if I caught the coronavirus, who knows? But I feel good, but I lost my voice. But what I want to share in this video, which I have been thinking about and I have mentioned in other videos, is the challenge that nomads, people who live full-time on the road, are facing. Um, we know the gyms are closed, the Starbucks are closed, the major resources to help supplement not having a house are no longer there. The only thing the nomad still has that allows full-time living with the resources you need is private campgrounds. And specifically, I always encourage people to look at the Thousand Trails campground pass because if you are in areas that they have campgrounds open, they will still allow you to go there depending on your state. Because we're not in the summer months yet, and some campgrounds in some states, the northern states specifically, are, are closed still. And they're opening late because of this pandemic. So, like, even in New Jersey, there was a couple campgrounds that were supposed to open April 1st. Today is April 1st. They're not going to open until, like, the middle of April. As of now, that may change. So what should you do if you're a nomad living full-time on the road? Should you go rent an apartment? Should you go to a hotel? Should you go to a family member's house? Well, for each person, that's going to be different, right? Because everyone has a different circumstance uh, in their life, different age, different health, different friends, family, different financial capability. So you'll have to answer that to a certain extent, but those are your options. Uh, to rent a short-term apartment, to rent a hotel room, uh, to move in with a friend or family member if they will allow it or to park on their property if they'll allow it. Other than that, like I say, it'll be a private campground. Um, and check out the Thousand Trails. And if you have the ability to move to a different state, technically by law, I mean, you're still allowed to move by law to a different state. There's a strong travel advisory around non-essential travel. But if your means of quote-unquote a shelter getting to a campground that's open is traveling, that's essential to your life, you know. So uh, obviously you have to navigate things. And, and again, I can't give advice to everyone because everyone has a different circumstance. And you'll have to follow whatever the laws and the regulations are at the time you see this video. But look, um, I made a video when this first started that this exposes what the biggest downside to living the nomadic life is, which is lack of stability. And who would have ever thought that in our lifetime we would face a global pandemic when every resource is pretty much closed down other than food stores? Uh, I don't think anyone could see that coming. But I've always mentioned that, look, you gain freedom and flexibility, but you lose stability, comfort, and security by not having a home base and or fully self-contained RV. And so now the freedom and flexibility you have is not that useful in a society that pretty much only values stability and security. Will this pass? Uh, yeah, hopefully rel uh, relatively soon, a couple weeks or a couple months. But it's very painful to go through each day without the resources. And I've been struggling. Others have been struggling. I just watched a video of uh, one of my viewers who uh, is going through the same thing. And she had to make a decision, I think, to move into a hotel. And I love and respect her. And I hope she does the right decision for her. Uh, a couple of viewers down in Florida... Uh, they had to move into a short-term rental, same thing. I, you know, everyone has to do what they have to do for them. Uh, what's my message in this video? My message is, in life, always do what you need to do for your well-being uh, within accordance of the law. Because at the end of the day, uh, that's what you have to do. Um, there's no easy answer around this one, guys. Pretty much we're in the waiting game. We're trying to get through this hard period in history so that we can get to better times on the other side. Now, if you're in a short-term rental or a hotel, you know, once we get through this, then you're back to having your flexibility. But you're 
like me, because I'm considering buying an RV after this, but I have been even before this happened. I mean, like me, you're going to have to consider going forward. We may not ever experience another pandemic in our lifetime, but do you want to be as vulnerable as you were going into this? Um, that's a question you're going to have to answer. Can you buy a small RV travel trailer or something small and cheap? Possibly, but you know, we all know travel trailers or motorhomes, they're not made the best. Some of them can be very expensive and you may be better off spending your money on something else if you don't plan to be on the road long term. So I've thought about that too. You know, long term, you're better off having a house. It's a give and take because um, like I said, you could have bought a house before this happened and then housing, housing prices may be more affordable after this. There's no easy answer. There's no exact science to life. Bottom line is I'm suffering in my own way. There's people suffering way more, worse than me. So I certainly don't want to uh, complain, but I'm sharing. Um, and uh, just do what you need to do for you. Uh, the nomad life took a big hit on the chin. A lot was exposed. Um, but I think everyone in society is taking a hit on the chin. I don't think anyone's getting out of this epidemic unscathed, either emotionally, financially, or any other way. So, you know, uh, it's just a weird part of history. But that's all I wanted to share in this video. Hopefully it helped. I appreciate if you clicked the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Check out my playlist on my Patreon. See you guys in the next one. Peace and love.